Hey everybody, welcome back to MicroBeerReviews.com. Tonight, we have a very interesting West Coast beer and brewery that we've never had the opportunity to review. Um, this is from the Speakeasy Ale and Lagers out of San Francisco, California, independently operated and owned at GoodBeer.com. Now, that is an impressive uh, website that they snag. So this is called their Speakeasy Big IPA in this very cool black can with a black top, actually. You don't see this very often. You have the uh, old school kind of mafia uh, cigar smoking guy there here. Um, it says it tips to scales with huge hop flavor and a clean dry finish. So I call that a very boring description. It comes in at 6.5% ABVs, 60 IBUs. It's considered an American IPA. It's got um, Chinook, Centennial, Cascade, and CTZ hops, two row pale malts, and Vienna, pretty standard. Um, it is available year round. So this is our, this is our, this is their flagship IPA since 1999. Um, it's got the, uh, a heavy handed hop, uh, grass, piney, and resinous aromatic notes with a bread lingering background, rich body, and color. Big Daddy is generously hot, yet surprisingly drinkable. A few, few good keywords in there, but uh, cool can. Super cool can. I think I paid, I want to say it was only like $11 for the six pack. It was not that expensive at all. Um, I did look on the can all over the place, double check. Did not see a date of production on there, which I feel is very critical with IPAs to drink as fresh as possible. Did not cheat, have not had this one yet. All right, so we got it in the glass. It's a teeny tiny bit hazy. Um, it does have a nice kind of golden color to it. Perfectly white, frothy, foamy head on it. Laces the glass, a little bit of legs on there. Um, nothing residual floating around, decent carbonation. Good, very, it's exact. So the Cascade and the Centennial hops, you absolutely can smell. The pininess and more importantly, the grassiness is definitely there. This is a very grassy, very herbally uh, IPA. There's almost no I mean, maybe a teeny bit of grapefruit and a tad bit of like lemon rind coming out, but not fruity at all. This is a very powerful uh, hop driven backbone IPA. You can smell the Vienna malt in there. It smells good. I mean, that's what it is. It's a big daddy IPA full of very uh, pungent hops and they, they blend real well together in the aroma. So, as we say, cheers, let's get into the glass. That's good. It's got a nice medium body, or a nice medium mouthfeel to it. Um, it coats your palate really nice. Um, 60 IBUs, tastes more like 75, which I actually like. Um, that's good. There's no booziness to it, there shouldn't be, but it's 6.5%. Um, definitely, I mean, it's it's hop, 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 and hop. I mean, it's front palate. There's some hops in there, more of the Centennial, the Chinook and the Cascades. You can kind of feel them kind of go down the back of your palate. Um, it's got a nice stickiness to it. Um, it's not dank. Uh, I think that word is overused if you've watched any of my other videos, but it's it's got a nice mouth feel to it. it. It lingers on a little bit in the aftertaste. It is a very clean very impressive finish but I mean this is a well done well balanced hop uh, IPA that I think quite honestly a lot of the breweries aren't doing well however been around since 1999 and they figured it out so we rate our beers between one and five again I think this can is absolutely killer phenomenal marketing um, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and again, this is my first one, but this is like a four and a half for me. This is a very, very well done balanced IPA that is, I think, hard to do when you're not 
pounding it with a bunch of fruits or other undertones and overtones. It is just exactly what they say it is. It's a big IPA at 6.5%. At 60 IBUs, it drinks extremely well. It's extremely well brewed. So I'm a fan of this. I will absolutely buy this one again. Now, I live on the East Coast, so I don't know if I'll find it again. Um, but at any rate, um, the price point was awesome. Um, it's, it's impressive. So speak easy. Um, if you tried it, let us know. Leave comments on our YouTube channel or our website, please. We upload all the time. We appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like the beer, if you like the video, give us a like. And as always, we'll see you again real soon. Cheers.